Imagine if he, actually, no, hang on, I'm going to ring him. Hang on a second. And let's see what his reaction to this is. Gavin, guess where I am, my friend? Yeah, you know. Oh, wait till I show you. Look at this business. Oh, ho, 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 ho. To the channel welcome back to the vlog and before i start today's episode which is the continuation of our trip we had an incredible experience yesterday here you said no uh, incredible experience yesterday just after we finished filming uh, at the trees we had a bird of prey which is a kestrel come right above the tree and start to hover above that in fact i'll give you a look at some of the footage from that yesterday and a couple of shots that we got of them as well before we continue for today And now it's a case of back to today. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got in store. I'm going to give you a look right now and then I'll talk to you in a second. <laughs> what do you think of that? So last year I saw pictures from this man here of an area and I went no way man that can't be real that's not in Ireland he said yeah it is man and and convinced it was a panel yes and now that I'm here I can see everything stacks down here stack here this giant stack this stack and then this beautiful headland that's out here conditions right now are actually bad but good at the same point because if we had great light then of course it would be epic upon epic but I think this scene is extremely strong anyway. But we were expecting a lot of, not, not a lot of clearance, we were expecting clearance. We haven't got it, but we've got so much mood and looking back to the mainland, it looks totally bleak. Yes. But not only that, we have a northerly wind, which I'm not gonna say is rare, it happens a lot, but in the end of June, it doesn't. And now we have amazing swell, amazing swell. And it just, it just makes the mood unbelievable. Well. I can't wait to get shooting this. I hope you can't either. I'm going to get my camera set up. I haven't even got it set up yet. I'm going to get the camera set up and I'm going to get some shots of this epic location. Oh, isn't this place absolutely incredible. Now, last year actually when Gavin was in Ireland, we were going to come here. We decided not to. Imagine if he, actually, no, hang on, I'm going to ring him. Hang on a second. And let's see what his reaction to this is. Gavin, guess where I am, my friend? Yeah, you know. Oh, wait till I show you. Look at this business. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And it keeps going. It's all the way over there, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with Bernard. He's up here. He has all of the extra bag poo, poo bags for you. We brought them just in case. 
<laughs> Anyhow, yeah, lovely to see your face, but you know what? This view is far nicer, buddy. So maybe until the next time. Schlong gefall. Enjoy. <laughs> now, it kind of was kind of cruel to ring Gavin and show him those scenes, but you know what? He wanted to see it, so I was actually doing him a favor, and it's something that I think he would absolutely love. But Rima, back to reality, right? I'm here, and I'm able to look at an incredible scene. I've done my first shot here, and I decided to go for a long exposure. I'm at F9, 30 seconds, ISO 100, and I'll give you a look here at what I'm looking at and what I've framed up. So I have this stack that's right here, I'll show you above actually, and more or less looking at this area. And I've got this part of this stack as well, just framing on the left hand side. So it's kind of looking in around this area. Look at the color of the water, it is stunning. And then on the long exposure, if I can show you this here, um, on the long exposure, you see that the movement on the water comes out there as well. So yeah, I think for a first shot, what an incredible spot to be at. I can't wait now to get editing these shots, but you're going to see it right now. I think this is probably one of the best locations I've been at in a long, long time, if not ever. Um, the textures here in these rocks are second to none. And I haven't even gone to the interesting part here, which is behind me, which is these spiky stacks. Right now, I'm actually focusing still in the same direction that I was earlier on. I'll swing you around here so you can see where I'm at with the camera. So I am looking at that stack that's here, but below me, I have all of these flowers, so I'm using the flowers to frame the scene, kind of like what you see right there. And I have to be very careful as well of the area, if I point to it here, which is the gap between the headland and this sea stack. So I want to make sure that there's a small amount of a gap. And then what I also love is over here, that's the water. So the water is coming along either side of this, and then I've got the water down in this gap here, and then the colors on the water below, and then with the yellow as well here. What an absolutely incredible scene to be able to photograph. And behind me, as you can see here, there's the gap for where sunset will be. Now, if the sun drops down, we might get some reflected light. I'm not going to get any direct light, but even right now, this is so nice and we don't have any light except for the standard light in the clouds. The cloud texture as well is magnificent. You can see it here, but also if I give you a look again, sorry, spin you around. Look at the detail in the clouds up here. So I'm doing a 30 second exposure, which is smoothing out those as well. And yeah, I'm going to give you a look at this next shot now. And like I said, I haven't even scratched the surface. Absolutely incredible. Here's the shot. As far as you know, photography locations go, there are few that are going to be able to beat this for me. Now, I've come over here to these uh, spiky stacks, a sequence of three of them that are right behind me, and I'm using the flowers as well that you can see that are right here as a foreground. I've taken two types of shots. I've gone into um, vertical portrait orientation and then traditional uh, horizontal landscape orientation. And I think actually with the portrait it works much better because I'm removing the distractions I'm purely filling the frame with the three of those and then with the flowers below me and then this 
bit of a stack here is starting to come on one side to close it out as well as the other over here as well. I've done for a couple of different exposure types. I've gone for long exposure because I really do like the movement on the water but obviously with a long exposure with the wind these flowers are going to have to move so I quickly then took off my um, 10 stop and I changed to a faster shutter speed to be able to get a shot of the flowers here in front and then I'll join those together then in post so we're pretty straightforward actually to do it I look forward actually to showing you my method of doing that when we get to the episode that will be next Wednesday which is behind the raw but for now anyway yeah we're still optimistic you can see the gap here and above me as well here the sky is seem to breaking up so I'm hopeful, fingers crossed, that we get a lick of light anyway for sunset. But even if we don't, I think this place is incredibly beautiful. And looking at the back of the camera, phenomenally photogenic. So yeah, here's these next two shots. Actually, I'll show you the horizontal and I'll show you the um, portrait. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Add this like here 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 and then one more stack down here so I've come down further to be able to try and get the three stacks uh, quite low in the shot now what I don't like is the middle stack as you can see here it is being cut off just with the headland now I can't go over this way because if I go over this way I lose visibility on this stack but nonetheless I still think it is a great shot now Bernard was up on an area up here a moment ago and I think he's got a much clearer view but maybe that stack on the right hand side is being cut off as well I'm not quite sure but yeah I'm going to give you a look at this shot now it's a 30 second shot and then yeah I'll check back in after that but oh my god man this is ridiculous Bernard this place is hard to believe that it's in Ireland you call it mini pharaohs this is not the mini pharaohs this is it's way a, beyond the it, pharaohs it is incredible look at it it is out of this world Here's the next shot. Talk to you in a moment. Now, I just know there is an epic composition out here. How? Because Bernard has been out there already and gotten a shot, but I am too much of a chicken to go on to the edge here with this wind, particularly as well. I wanna make sure that I keep myself safe, but I'm not feeling overly stable on my feet because again, of my back. But this guy is a mountain goat. So as you can see here, he's on the rock and he's getting the shot for me, which is this stack, this stack, and you can just see the tip of it here, but from where he is, there's nothing blocking. It's going to be a 30 second shot. It's going to be at F11. And yeah, you're going to get the whole expanse of this with the moving water below it. It is going to be stunning. I'm really excited now to see what it looks like on the back of my camera. I've seen in the back of his camera, but I think it's going to be incredible. What a unbelievable, I nearly cursed. What an incredibly beautiful location that we have today. And again, the light behind here, you can see this might just kick off so let's see how we go here is this shot my camera taken by mr bernard garrity talk to you in a moment
got that shot and he actually went for a 60 second shot so it wasn't a 30 second but we're coming back now to our original spot because look at that behind me I think it is going to kick off if it kicks off it's going to light up all of these cliffs here so yeah <laughs> would we get lucky who knows but if you're not in you can't win hang on Bernard what are you doing right now my friend <laughs> yes this is going to be insane As if this place couldn't get even better, now the sun is about to drop below the bank of cloud here and you can see already the glow that's on me and we're starting to get the glow on the cliffs that are over here. Now I've changed as well now, I'm going for half a second exposures and they are turning out stunning even on the back of the camera. That subtle glow is beautiful on these rocks. I'll give you a look at what I have now and then I think it is all going to kick off. So yeah. <laughs> the doctor ordered here comes the light you can see it on me here I'll give you a look here at where it's lighting up over on the cliffs you can just see here kissing the top of that lighting up all the way out here grabbing the shot this is my composition a couple of flowers that are below here this singular stack that's there and then this gorgeous light settings at the moment here I am still at the half second I'm at f8 ISO 100 and yeah I'm going to play around with that now see if I can make sure I get the maximum amount of detail out of it but <laughs> this place isn't good enough it just keeps getting better So as if this location couldn't get better than what it already is, it looks like we might get a second and a third blush of light. BG, unbelievable boy. What a spot. What a spot. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I was ex had expectations as the birds are right next to us here. One second. Can you see that bird who's coming in to try and attack us? Look, here he comes. Here he comes. So yeah, my expectations for here were high, but what I got was even higher. And then with the light, it just blew me away. I would say that this is probably the most epic location I've ever visited. You have been to a lot of places around the world. And? Yeah, but Ireland is my favorite. Yes. But this place is probably my favorite in Ireland. Yes, and you know what? We were talking uh, yesterday and it's not really an idea what we look to do. Maybe if you want to come shoot in Ireland with me and Bernard, what do you think? Want to be coming on for a workshop? This guy is an incredible workshop leader. 
I'm somebody who you'll know from this channel. We decided to say, okay, let's give it a go. So if you want to come in a workshop with me and Bernard to places as epic as this, let me know in the comments, comments below. below. Comments and yeah, below. and you've all of this to explore <laughs> and more. It's incredible. We're not done yet. So yeah, we'll uh, hang around and see what we get for the end. But even if we don't get anything in the end, this has blown me away. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now, as far as locations go, it is incredible here. I, like I said earlier on, many, many times I was blown away by it. And now we are here in Blue Hour, and as if it's not good enough, it's still delivering right now in Blue Hour with this behind us. Bernard, what a spot, man. You happy? I've obviously been here how many times? Do you know, a dozen times. And I'm due back another four times in the next four weeks for a total of about 11 days. And obviously this was very last minute, but yes. I just run out of words to describe this country. Like, and every time I think I do run out of words, something pops up and my vocabulary just expands with crazy words that don't exist. But the only ways I can describe Ireland um, with the Aurora that we had like three weeks ago, which I missed, which you missed, but was the best Aurora I've ever seen, ever seen anywhere in the world, including Norway and Iceland, which I've seen many displays. They just, you know, that to me was the cherry on top for Ireland. And you think nothing can better that, but then, and you, th you think, oh, I'm giving up photography. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't need to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing this full time for eight years and still every day, the landscape just blows my mind. And this was no different. Yeah, absolutely. And for me, first time here, it completely blew me away. You come enjoy coming along as well on the journey. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment. I'll leave a link to Bernard's channel as well because I really want him to start making videos, even if it's a case that he's not doing them to the camera, but he's showing the beautiful places that he goes to. But he's got some great stuff there from his tours already. So yeah, thanks as always. Thanks to Bernard for uh, bringing me along on this crazy adventure. But we're not done yet because yeah. this is sunset and we still have sunrise. So tune in maybe next week. Hopefully you'll see at that stage. Thanks everybody. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to a pint. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Slancha. Oh. Slancha for everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.